Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Mr. Cobalt and in this video I'm going to be talking about how to identify your Bronsted Lowry acid and base in a chemical reaction. So let's get into this. So the definition of a Bronsted Lowry acid is uh, something that donates a proton or a H plus to some other substance or species. Uh, and the Bronsted-Lowry base is something that gains or uh, accepts the proton from some other uh, substance or species. So as long as we have a transfer of a proton or a hydrogen, an H plus from one thing to another, we can identify what the acid and the base is uh, for that reaction. And we can even identify the conjugate acid and the conjugate base as well. So, but we're going to focus on the acid and bases. And so remember, the acid and the base is always going to be on the reactant side, the left side. Conjugates are always going to be on the product side or the right side of your equation. So let's get into this. So we want to identify between these two here for the first one, A, we want to identify what is donating the, the proton or hydrogen, what is accepting the proton or hydrogen. So we got to look at the products too. So this here, we have a hydrogen, HClO2. Over here, we have a ClO2 minus coupled with the positive ion as a counter ion. So this lost the hydrogen. So it donated the hydrogen. Where did the hydrogen go? Well, if we look over here, we have sodium. Sodium is here and here, so that's not really doing anything. It's a spectator ion. But look at the O, the IO minus. The IO minus picked up the hydrogen. So that means that this here is acting as the acid, and this, the IO minus, is acting as the base. The sodium there is, is just a counter ion. It's not really doing anything. It's just there to balance charge. Okay, so that's the acid and the base. And of course, we can identify the conjugate. So the conjugate base is then the ClO minus here. The conjugate acid of this would be the HIO there, right? So because they differ by a hydrogen. So you differ by a hydrogen. This gained hydrogen. So that's the conjugate acid. And then this goes there. This is the conjugate base. Okay, so B, again, we're going to see what donated the hydrogen, what accepted the hydrogen. So here we have HS minus, and so over here we have H2S. So the HS minus picked up a hydrogen, so that's acting as the base. So it accepted the hydrogen. So let me, let me do this in a different color. So we'll put B for base there. And so where did the hydrogen come from? It came from the HF. So the HF is acting as the acid. And of course, the conjugate. So the conjugate, uh, the conjugate acid for this base is going to be the H2S because they differ by one hydrogen. And the conjugate base of this acid is going to be the F minus because they differ by one hydrogen. Okay, next is the HS minus and OH minus. So which is the acid, which is the base? So we're looking at HS minus. Where, what do we have over here? We have S2 minus. So the, we lost a hydrogen here. So losing a hydrogen or losing a proton indicates that you are giving the proton away. That would be the definition of a Bronsted-Lowry acid. So here, this is acting as the acid. And so what picked up the acid? So the OH minus accepted the acid, and then we get two hydrogens and an oxygen, so that's water. So the hydroxide picks up the hydrogen, forms water. So here, the hydroxide ion is acting as a base. And again, the HS, this is the acid. The conjugate base would be the S2 minus because they differ by a hydrogen. And the conjugate acid of this base would be the water because they differ by 
a hydrogen. So the water came from the hydroxide. The, a, the S2 minus came from the HS minus. All right, D next, we have H3ASO4 and we have NaOH. Again, the sodium here, you know, we're going to ignore because that's a spectator ion. It's not really doing anything. Our main focus will be on the hydroxide. The sodium is there just to balance the charge. Um, so here we have the H3ASO4. So what do we have on this side? We have the ASO4 with the sodium. Again, the sodium is just balancing charge. So the ASO4 here is related to this. So it lost the hydrogen. So losing the hydrogen means you're a base, you're a bronze lowry base. So B for base. And then the hydroxide ion here picked up the hydrogen to form water. So that means that the hydroxide ion in this case is acting as, oops, I got this backwards. So this is acting as the acid and this is acting as the base. Sorry about the confusion. So donating hydrogen, picking up the hydrogen. And once again, we can identify the conjugate base of this which is going to be the ASO4 because the ASO4 comes from this. And then the uh, conjugate acid of this is the water because they differ by a hydrogen. Okay, next we have the uh, HNO2. Um, actually, let me go back to this. Technically, the conjugate base of this would be the difference of one hydrogen. So here you would have the H2ASO4 minus would be the conjugate base of this acid. So this technically is not the conjugate base. So I wanted to clarify that. So that was a mistake. Okay, so here we have HNO2 and we have BRO minus. Again, we're going to ignore the sodiums because sodium is just balancing charge. It's not really part of the reaction. And so here if we have HNO2, we look over here, we have NO2 minus, so it lost the hydrogen. So this is the acid. So HNO2 is the acid. Well, what picked up? What, what accepted the hydrogen? If we look at the BRO minus over here, we have HBRO. So BRO minus picked up the hydrogen. So this, this is acting as the base, the BRO minus. Next, we have H2ASO4 minus, and we have HNO2. So here, they're both, they both begin with hydrogen, so you might assume that they're both acids, and they technically are, but in this case, one has to be the acid, one has to be the base, so let's figure that out. So here, we're going from H2ASO4 to H3ASO4, so this picked up a hydrogen. So by accepting a hydrogen, it is acting as a base. So this is acting as a base, which means that this is acting as the acid because look, we have HNO2 and over here we have NO2 minus. And so this is acting as the acid. And finally, we have H2ASO4 minus, same as here. Uh, and then we have OH minus here. So here we have H2ASO4, over here we have ASO4 three minus. So we lost the hydrogen, so this donated hydrogens. So this is acting as the acid, which means the hydroxide of course is acting as a base and you can see that OH minus picked up hydrogen to form water. So it accepted the hydrogen, so this is the base. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you identify your Bronsted Lowry acids and bases. Thanks for joining me. If you uh, love this video, then by all means, love it. Well, there's no love button, so but put you know the like, click that like button. Also, share it with your friends. Subscribe to my channel, and uh, when you do, make sure you click on that notification bell and click all, so you'll be notified by all the videos I put out. And finally, uh, put a comment down below in the comment section. Let me know what you think ask me questions. If you have any question or problem you would like me to go over to help you with, 
or if there's a topic you want me to cover in a future video, then please let me know. I would love to do that for you. Thanks for joining me and have a great day.